Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel, Evolve with Monette. I'm a professional intuitive empath, a chef, and an all-around life path three, artist, writer, author, all that jazz. Now that we know each other, let's get into the video. And that is for Aries. What I wanted to do is go over your year-long transits, Aries, that are going to be happening astrologically. I will also be following up with an intuitive reading for you as well. Not in this reading or video, but soon come, okay? So first of all, Aries, what I want you to understand is there is drive and vim and vigor that are going to lead your year. This year is all about being full out, full on, pedal to the metal, and it's about sacrifice for you. We have a Saturn and Pluto conjunction, which is happening in Capricorn, which is a work sector and the planet of work, long-term investment, excuse me, and creation. So that's what's happening for you. But for you specifically, it will manifest in your career zone, okay? So it's really important for you to commit to yourself, all right? This year, commit to yourself, your ideas, and your passions. Aries, you are led by Mars, which is the god of war. So there's a lot of energy and a couple T-squares. I'm going to be honest, this is not bad, but your angels want you to understand and know this so that you have a heads up on how to navigate. This commitment to yourself means you will be powerful, relentless and unwavering. I love that for you, but it also means that you will have to rein in that fire. Exercise would be a fantastic way to dispel some of that fire, but you will definitely have to rein in that fire, okay? Venus is conjunct Leo on the 9th of February, and this is going to affect your intimate relationships as well as your financial relationships. So I want you to be really clear about that. If you have funds with a lover or a partner or a husband or a wife, make sure that you're comfortable with the joint checking account. Make sure that you're comfortable with the direction that that goes. Because if not, what will happen is you will find yourself scrambling at this time, trying to figure out where your boundaries are. All right. This also in a playful way affects your intimate relationships and it means wonder and playfulness. It's a peak creative time and a lot of wonderful experiences can happen at this time. The only thing they ask you to make sure is that you have a line of delineation between your finances and your partner, okay? Mars goes into the 10th house on the 16th of February. So they're asking you, this is your career sector, the 10th house, to avoid conflict um, and do not break rules, guys. Uh, one of the things that comes up here is, that restrictions will happen if you break rules. Sometimes, Aries, you guys are charismatic enough to be able to get that, push past it, and break the rule, but that's not going to work for you at this time. Let's circle that time frame and remember that. That's the 10th house, February 16th. Pay attention. Um, because this is North Node energy, this will also deal with family and career and how they are impacted by you and how your life moves towards family and career. So that's something to note too, because it's a North node. So there's a balancing of your work life energy. Okay. There's a new, Ooh, wait, let me get to the right page. Okay. I'm going to flip on this Aquarius. Okay. Mars and Jupiter conjunct on the 19th of March. So this is incredible power to do anything Aries. Here's why I love this for you. Mars is very well aspected in your sign. It literally is the uh, planet associated with your sign. So, and Jupiter is a giver of planet. It's a planet of gifts and lux and expansion. So your magical powers that are already deeply in you, Aries, plus Jupiter mean wowza, 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 wowza. It's so good. Conjunct on the 19th of March. So it increases your power to do anything. This is a magic manifesting time for you as well. Mars and Pluto on the 22nd of March is to be calmly observed. They're asking you to not lose your temper. I put that in a box. Do not lose your temper. This is going to be surrounding career, a lot of career energy for you. If you're an entrepreneur, pay attention to these words because I feel like your angels are trying to take you into a place where you're not only thriving, but you are truly the boss, which Aries you are meant to be. Um, but they are asking you to keep that temper in check. Uh, you are releasing shadows in March too. Do not overshare on social media. I wrote Facebook. Do not overshare on social media during that time frame, guys, because what's going to happen is you will live to regret that, especially because Mars is like, fire, fire. I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to fight who I want to fight. I'm going to have these battles. Be careful. Pay attention to that. The full moon on the 5th of June. Let's see? 
takes you into a place where you are able to really dive deeper into career and they're asking you to do a, a ritual of creation that day. So write down what you would like to see happen with career at that day. The 14th of July, Chiron, the wounded healer, shows up and it's time to heal sexual past trauma. Ooh, we got deep there, huh? Um, sexual past trauma. And so this is also about the way that we relate sexually to past partners or the toxic patterns of behavior that we had with past partners. Your angels are going to be working with you during this astrological conjunction to root that out. So stuff may come up. You may have repressed memories. You may have a call from an ex and remember how you guys were really toxic, codependent, or unhealthy. At that time, it's coming up for you guys to take a look at it. Fall is for slowing down and reflection. The full moon in Aries on the 4th of October is going to ask you to trust your instincts. And it's going to ask you to believe what you hear and see, especially regarding career. Are you tired of me saying career yet, guys? <laughs> the end of your year, Jupiter enters into Aquarius and your community and social zone have the ability to connect with people. It gives you the ability. The right people in the right way are gravitating to to you Aries towards the end of this year so it's almost like all of the hard work you did about being so picky and choosy about what's happening in your business is going to pay off for you in great dividends uh, work out that sexual stuff in that relationship work-life balance and you will see that your year moves much smoothly or much more smoothly and more efficiently and that is what I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about today Aries go out and conquer the world you guys are rock stars I love my Aries. You guys are such rock stars. Go out and be the people and the trailblazers that you are meant to be. Beautiful energy at the beginning of the year with Mars and Jupiter supporting you, supporting you, supporting you. Magic, magic, magic. Make it happen. And maybe if you're lucky, find yourself a magic wand. Had to work it in one more time. <laughs> I'm so glad that we got to share some energy today, guys. I want you to come back and we will continue to evolve together.